Hello Adaptation viewers, I'm Jessica Dunn and I'd like to say welcome back to our repeat guests and if you're new, well, hello there. Glad you could join us for the ultimate vlog for book lovers and their on-screen counterparts. Now, if you're active in any type of fandom, whether it be Sherlock, Supernatural, Harry Potter, Marvel, whatever, you're probably very familiar with the term shipping. When, simply put, you love to root for the romantic relationship of two characters, whether their romance is canon or not. And while our adaptation hosts definitely have our share of ships that we love to see in books and on screen, we're going to be doing a slightly different focus for this vlog. We're not going to be looking at romantic relationships, we're going to be looking at friendships. We'll be presenting you with our top five friendships that we love to see in books, movies, or in both. First on our list from the Lord of the Rings series, Legolas and Gimli. This friendship is beautiful in both the books and in the movies, but they definitely play it up a little bit more in the movies. This is especially evident in The Hobbit when Legolas is presented with a picture of young Gimli and he looks at it with derision while the entire audience is going. <laughs> this friendship might also be open to interpretation, however, because there are definitely a lot of fans who ship these two romantically. But for us, they're just the best elf slash dwarf BFFs around. You just gotta love a friendship that starts out just a little antagonistic. In the beginning, Legolas didn't want to be friends with the dwarf. Gimli didn't want anything to do with elf scum. And then it develops into something more. In this case, the most epic bromance in Middle-earth. Following up that pairing, we also really admire the friendship developed between Brienne of Tarth and Jaime Lannister in seasons 2 and 3 of Game of Thrones. They're each other's protectors, and even though they started off on different sides, they both have such a sense of duty and honor that they complement each other really well. They actually come to a point where they confide in each other. At this point in the series, we're starting to suspect that the platonic part of their friendship might be moving into something more romantic. Okay, there are possibilities there. But if that isn't the case, we would actually just love to see them stay best friends. Sleepovers, they could braid each other's hair. They could braid Jamie's hair. Next on our list of epic friendships is that of Groot and Rocket from the Marvel film Guardians of the Galaxy. This is a really interesting friendship dynamic because Groot's lines are only ever, I am Groot. And yet, Rocket can always understand him perfectly. <laughs> the conversations between the two of them are hilarious and yet also really poignant because it almost seems like Rocket is talking to himself and yet Groot is clearly the wiser of the two. So he takes his advice, even though you have no idea what he's saying. But isn't that how friendship is? And, spoiler alert, near the end of the film, Groot sacrifices himself to save the entire team. Rocket tries to talk him out of it, and you find yourself, like, tearing up with him on screen. I mean, who knew that raccoons had tear glands? <laughs> the fourth friendship on our list is a threesome. Wait, that came out wrong. I didn't mean it that way. A trio. Boy Blue, Flycatcher, and Pinocchio from the comic book series Fables. For those of you not familiar with this series, it's about fairy tale and fantasy characters who are driven from their own world by an evil adversary, and therefore form a community of sorts hiding among the mundanes, or mundies, in New York City. It's a really raw and slightly cynical take on the original tales. In terms of these three characters, they just have this really awesome closeness that translates well to the page. Whether they're donning armor to fight the adversary or just hanging out on the front stoop reading comic books, they have this great balance between the three of them. But if we're talking about friendship in threes, nothing trumps the friendship chemistry between Ron, Harry, and Hermione in the Harry Potter books. Ron and Hermione do get together in the end of the series, but putting the romance aside, it's made clear throughout the entire series that these guys just simply work best when it's all three of them together. Hermione is the brain, Harry is the soul, and Ron is the heart, and a little bit of the funny bone. And it makes up a perfect triad. The times when one or more of them are falling out are the most desperate and the least fun parts in the books. Each of them have had their turn as the awkward third wheel. It's one of the things that I really love when I read and reread this series. 
is the interactions between these three and seeing how they balance out each other's extremes. They tease each other and they call each other out on their crap. But in the end, their loyalty and friendship make them a trio to beat out any other. And that's it for our top five friendships. We thought it was only fair to end on that note. Because who could follow the triple act of the golden trio? But maybe you disagree on this or any of the other pairings that we've listed. If so, or if you think we've missed out on a truly epic friendship somewhere, feel free to leave your comment in the comment section. Plus, we can also be found on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. Links below. Thanks for tuning in, and hope to see you next week. You've got a friend in me.